This is the first video in a series of five minute videos in which I cover the topics of motivation, education, family, finances, and planning for the future. Stay tuned to these five minute videos where you can get great tips and tricks. Tip number five. Keep coming back to me and watching videos of people like me doing the thing that you want to do. This makes your goal much more obtainable. When you see someone doing that thing that you're trying to strive for, it allows you to see that it's actually possible. Someone doing it like you, so if they can do it, so can you. You cannot be what you cannot see. So look for visible role models out there. Luckily, today there are many ways to find a role model. They're all present on the internet, on YouTube, people like myself and plenty of others online will be able to provide you that motivation by showing you what your future self could look like. For example, I love the character from television, Bo from Blackish. Though it's said in humor, she's actually a really good example of what a doctor mom looks like today. So look for these types of examples all around you, follow them and use them for inspiration and motivation. Number four, practice. With everything that is worthwhile, it's going to take a lot of practice. To be more specific, if you're on the road to medicine and you're doing your pre-med courses, there are struggles along the way because it's hard. You just have to keep in mind that the more you practice, the better you're going to get. So practice, 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 Take the time and invest it because it will pay off. Practice leads to success and confidence and good grades. Getting successes and good grades will motivate you to continue. Tip number three, establish a support network. By support network, I mean a group of people who are like-minded and goal-oriented in the same way that you are. For example, if you're a pre-med student and you're on your way to your medical career, you want to be studying in groups with people that are doing the same thing and heading the same way. This is a strong motivating factor. They will motivate you to do the thing that you're trying to do. For my medical career, a study group was so important. Um, my classmates really motivated me, helped bring me up when things were really hard, and we struggled together. So find a support network, be it your classmates, or some friends or people that you know on the online internet community that can really help you when you're down and give you that support and encouragement that you need to continue on toward your goal. Tip number two, volunteer. You want to get some experience doing the thing that you're trying to get. You want to spend time volunteering and gaining experience in the area that you're trying to get to. You won't really know if that's for you unless you really get your hands dirty. So spend some time working with other people at a hospital so that you can get some experience as well as make some connections. You want to think about setting yourself up for the future. Look through your school or your church or even any societies that you're a part of to give you ideas for opportunity to volunteer. Take those volunteer opportunities very seriously. You want to be able to get experience and really understand about the field that you're going into and see if it's compatible. These will be motivating factors for you. Tip number one, always have a plan. Whether you're planning for your week, your month, your year, or just your day, daily activities, you always want to have a plan and you want to have it written out. So that as you're going along, you can check off all the activities that you need to do as you're doing them, and that will motivate you. As you get things accomplished, you'll feel more motivated to continue on. So always make a plan and stick to it. I find that if I go about my day or my week without a plan, things get a little bit more chaotic, especially juggling all the activities that I need to do for myself and my kids. Um, and I need to have it written down in a place where I can look at it, check it off as I go, and then I feel like things are a little bit more organized. So I strongly recommend you have a plan and that will be your sole motivation as you move along toward that goal. With these five tips, following them will guarantee you to be successful and keep you motivated. Guys, be sure to hit that like button and comment and subscribe to my videos so that I can continue giving you guys all the knowledge on the tips and ways to get to medicine.